Hey guys, my name is Polygon Donut, and as you may know, there are many emotions that exist. As a fellow human, I can relay, and most likely you can too. These emotions we humans feel are represented by different positions of the face muscles. There's happiness, sadness, anger, fear, relief, and many more. But what if I told you there are emotions that don't actually exist yet? According to this Blue Channel video, we've actually discovered some of these non-existent emotions already. Humber, Nage, Dorsalistness, Andric, Varination, Ponish, Harfam, Kind, Trentiveness, Teluge, and Loric. But there are even more more out there. The emotional compass is still not yet complete. So today we are going to use the power of the DALI Mini AI technology to visualize some of these non-existent emotions. First off, let's generate some basic happy faces. At first they were pretty accurate at visualizing happiness, but then they started to get a little odd. This one has a split tongue and this one doesn't even have any pupils. Clearly, the AI is already showing us a glimpse into some of these non-existent variations of happiness. In order to further conduct our research, we need to graph them on a chart. Here is the chart we will be using. The horizontal represents either negative or positive emotion. Positive would be these happy faces we generated earlier. Negative would be something like this angry face I just generated. Grr. The vertical axis is where it gets a little complicated. There is either high intensity or negative intensity. High intensity means an emotion that has a lot of really intense deformations and feeling. The no pupil happy face would be slightly higher than the others. A middle intensity means no deformations and a negative intensity means the deformities lower the emotional output, such as a painless change in shape or state of being. For example, this purple emotion is a slightly happy negative intensity emotion. Let's fill in some more of this chart. First off, we have the her emotion. This one gets to be in the very middle with no intensity positive or negative. Slightly more on the negative side, we have the her emotion. Even more on the negative side, there's the and then the awoga. This angry emotion looks like a freaking Pikachu and this slightly happy emotion has a cute little wink. This one has three sets of teeth and this one has teeth for eyes. There's even two other ones with three sets of teeth as well. All of these have a little higher intensity. Some of the negative, slightly high intensity emotions have really jumbled around facial features. Features. No, he have two eyeballs at once! Ayo, who took his eyeball? My brother in Christ, why is your mouth rectangular? This dude really has eyeball nostrils. He freaking sees smells. He will be on the negative intensity side. This one's entire face turned into a nose. <laughs> this little guy looks like he's having fun, so he's on the slight positive side. He's also a very chunky thing, so negative intensity. The AI also generated a happier version of the chunky square, so he is more on the right. There's a ton of high intensity happy faces that have really weird deformations. A few more no pupil ones are generated, including this monstrosity and one that stares directly into your soul. This man has headphones attached to his head. They are not real. His ass is not listening. Ew, he has bugs in his teeth. His teeth are floating in the middle. He is watching. Ooh, woo. Oh, well. All of these are high intensity positive emotions, including these two metallic emotions that generated. I guess when you feel this emotion, your skin turns into metal. The high intensity negative emotions literally look like their faces are melting. This MF is a straight up zombie and this guy is like twisting or something. I don't know. Like what the frick is happening here? What is that made of? There's also many faces that don't exhibit negative or positive positive emotional output, like the intense spiral face, the negative bra face, and the disturbed eye bulge face. Going on to fully negative, we witness the complete loss of humanity, the emotion of nothingness. Going even further, completely off the chart itself, we enter the meaningless void. The emotions in the meaningless void have an entire change in being, with zero emotional output whatsoever. The all-seeing moi is the first. This emotion generates a ring around the head, and this one turns the head into an entire planet. The final emotion features a complete and utter transformation into a planet. No facial features are present anymore, as you have truly ascended into a new state of mind. At the very top of the middle section, we have the intense nothingness, an emotion with such an incredibly intense feeling of nothingness. It features a skull-like indent into the face. If you dare to go even further, you will truly ascend. The most intense feeling of nothingness physically possible, the biblically accurate emotion of God himself. This emotion is also in the middle section because it literally features both a sad face and a happy face at the same time so it cancels out. This one also kind of has both so it's in the center as well. There's another funny square thing that's kind of sad so it's on the negative emotion negative intensity side. There's even another square thing that's even sadder and one that looks like it turned into a Minecraft pig. Oink, oink. This one looks really mysterious with its connected eyeball and weird head shape so it's fully <laughs> negative intensity. <laughs> This one is scary. It goes here. I don't even know what's happening here. Like, why does he have a freaking normal map? Blech. He looks very sick. I hope he is okay. <laughs> why are his eyeballs melting? He goes here too. Once you go fully negative, both emotionally and intensely, you reach the corner of death. These are emotions that feel so much pain and are filled with such hatred for this world, but I've realized that there is nothing they can do about it. They sit in content suffering, unmoving and unfazed by this reality. The hollowed corpse, the transcendence of closure, and the tears of extinction. On the 
contrary of the bottom left corner, we have the bottom right corner, also known as straight vibing. These are emotions that exhibit change in their entire state of being, and they are just straight vibing with life. These four just turned into cakes. Mmm, yummy cake emotion. Their faces are a little jumbled up, but that's okay. This one turned into a literal rainbow. Look how happy he is. <laughs> These two turn into entire planets, but they are still so happy and cute, so it's okay. This one also kind of looks like a planet, but not really. Yo, he's vibing to music. Look at him go. He's so goofy. Uh, Wait a second. Is his ass not listening either? There's some other weird negative intensity emotions, like the scruggly pixel art one, the weird tongue, the funny popcorn hair, the tidy face, and whatever this is. Cranking up the intensity again, we get some really cursed results. This one has a massive eyeball, and this one only has one eyeball with weird lines on the side. A weird phenomenon that happened twice in these generations is the left eye being made of some weird metallic material. This dude has a freaking robot mouth and this one has two pupils in the eye. This one's eye turned into a blue shard thing and this one's eye is replaced with an entire skull. How does this emotion even work? What? This one have got the light bulb screw shaped neck on. Damn! This emotion goes pretty bows on your head. Meow. This one's skin is literally bubbling. What the frick? But yo, he has a cute little smile. Meow. My humble acquaintance, your brain is exposed and it is yellow. What is going on here? What am I looking at? This emotion just detaches part of your face? I don't know, man. The sheer change in facial structure on this emotion is incredible. How does this even happen? This one also has two eyeballs in one and a really weird tongue thing? I don't know. This emotion turns your skin blue and deforms your face. I have no idea what's going on here. This one has two mouths that both have the tongue out, and this one also has two mouths and a heart on his face, so it's very cute. Meow. This one is just terrifying. What is even going on? All the way at the fully intense and fully positive corner, we have this absolute specimen. Woohoo! He's so excited! Yay! There's a few more cursed emotions to add to this positive intensity blob, like this jumbled emotion, this one with one eye and a moaning face or something. What the frick? Feeling in the negative side again, we have the zipper teeth emotion. Man really just said zip. There's a few more really intense zipper teeth emotions that also generated. Man, I hate the orthodontist. Sheesh, my boy's got that diamond zipper mouth and diamond eyeball. This one's zipper is under the mouth and has a hook with it. And this one's zipper is a mustache instead of a mouth. There's some really weird looking angry emotions and this really funny worried emotion. <laughs> The emotion has a really unsettling mouth. He is very stressed out. Please be nice to him. My homie really got a hand growing out of his face. What the frick? He is watching you. This one is very creepy, but I say it's negative intensity because of the loss of emotion in the mouth shape. <laughs> his face is all scrungled around. No. <laughs> Very high intensity. His face is even more scrungled on Jesus. <laughs> Somehow this emotion has a very peculiar spiral lip going on. These two go next to each other. And now we reach the top of the high intensity, high negativity corner. The pain of death reveals itself. These two emotions display the loss of life itself. But going even further, we reach the point of false positive agony. An emotion so negative, so painful, so agonizing that it reverses into a deceiving smile. The empty pupils, the bull purple eyes, the singular tooth covering the whole mouth, a visualization of unholy levels of agony. And finally, when we max out both intensity and positivity, and then go even further beyond, we reach hunger. One who feels this emotion has finally found a worthy meal after millions of years of longing, longing for something to satisfy this never-ending desire. You are its next meal. It unhinges its jaw, revealing the teeth that will now feast upon you. The double-faced terror, the nibbly ghibli the muncher cruncher, the gluttonous devourer, the rusted craving, the ravenous desire, and finally, the all consumer, and many more. Well, there you have it. This is the complete chart of all the AI-generated non-existent emotions I could find. If you end up feeling one of these emotions, please comment down below with your experience. All of these were generated using Dali Mini, which you can find a link to in the description. I used a multitude of prompts that you can see on the screen now, and if you generate some of your own emotions, feel free to share them in the AI-generated images channel on my Discord server. Also, make sure to like and subscribe and support me if you want to. Okay, bye!